Berlin's Top 9 Tourist Attractions Germany's capital city has a vibrant history and culture. Berlin, which was severely divided during World War II and the Cold War, has rebuilt itself as an international city with a wide variety of cultures and architectural styles. Explore the top tourist attraction in Berlin that still bears the scars of the recent past. Berlin TV Tower. The Berlin TV Tower, also known as the Berliner Fernsehturm, is situated close to Alexanderplatz. The observation deck of this tower, which is the tallest building in all of Germany, provides an exceptional vantage point from which to enjoy breathtaking views of much of the city. The Berlin TV Tower, one of Germany's most notable mid-century modern structures, was constructed in the 1960s. It was a great engineering marvel when it was built as well. There is a classy restaurant where you can take in the view while having a drink or a complete meal right below the main observation deck. Eight Treptower Park. Treptower Park is located south of center Berlin along the Spree River. The park in Berlin is a must-visit location if you're interested in the history of World War II. Along with a sizable military cemetery, the park is home to the massive Soviet War Memorial, which was erected in 1949 to remember the Soviet soldiers who lost their lives in the Battle of Berlin. The park is decorated with numerous memorial plates, each of which honors a different conflict. Treptower Park is a great area to wander along the paved walkways, rent a rowboat for some time on the water, or just relax with a drink in the park's beer garden, aside from its historical value. 7. Berlin Wall Memorial While in the city, there are numerous opportunities to view the Berlin Wall. If locations like Checkpoint Charlie seem overly touristic, go visit the Berlin Wall Memorial, or Gedenkstadt Berliner Mauer as it is known in German. It serves as a monument to the innumerable men, women, and kids who died attempting to scale the wall. Additional exhibits and information are available at a nearby documentation center on Bernauer Strasse, albeit much of it is in German. The former border between East and West Berlin may be seen from the viewing platform. 6. Berlin Cathedral Berlin is home to several beautiful cathedrals, but the Berlin Cathedral is the biggest and one of the most striking. It was constructed at the beginning of the 20th century as a symbol of German imperial might. The Neo-Renaissance Brick Cathedral is situated near Museum Island in the Mitt neighborhood. The cathedral takes great pride in its massive organ, which is still used for religious services today. After viewing the interior of the cathedral, visitors can ascend to the top of the dome and take in the views. 5. Reichstag The Reichstag is a significant historical site and the location of the German parliament. Damage from a 1933 fire and air raids during the 1945 Battle of Berlin were both significant. The Reichstag, which is located close to the Brandenburg Gate, wasn't completely reconstructed until after the fall of the Berlin Wall and German unification. As a memorial to the building's troubled past, some historical wounds, including graffiti written by Soviet soldiers, have been left there. The original building was created by a number of architects, and although the combination of styles in the finished product was somewhat divisive at the time, thousands of visitors today enjoy it every year. Visitors are required to register in advance in order to enter the glass dome at the top of the skyscraper, 
which offers a great view of the city. 4. Holocaust Memorial The Holocaust Memorial, which stands next to the Brandenburg Gate, is a straightforward yet moving memorial to the Jews who perished as a result of Hitler's extermination scheme. Over 205,000 square feet, the 2,711 slabs are placed in a wave-like pattern. Each stone is distinct and can range in height from about 6 feet to ankle high. The pathways in between the slabs are uneven, creating a general feeling of instability and confusion. There is no predetermined path through the silent, serene stones, so guests are free to move in any way. An subterranean information center at the memorial's base provides details and first-person accounts of those the Nazi Party's acts have impacted. 3. Checkpoint Charlie Checkpoint Charlie, one of the most well-known places to cross the Berlin Wall, is significant both historically and emotionally. The border crossing was given that name by the Western Allies, and it was marked with the foreboding words, you are leaving the American sector. Foreigners and members of the Allied Army had to cross here and nowhere else. The Allied Museum in Berlin Zellendorf now houses the guardhouse that had stood here. At the crossing, a model of a U.S. Army guardhouse is present, and cobblestones have been used to mark the location of the previous boundary. The Museum House and Checkpoint Charlie houses the original checkpoint sign and the best documentation on escape attempts. 2. Gendarmenmarkt A significant public space in Berlin, the Gendarmenmarkt, has been around since the 17th century. Several significant landmarks still stand in the Gendarmenmarkt, despite the fact that World War II destroyed many of the ancient structures there. You may see the Deutscher Dom and the Franzosischer Dom, or French Cathedral, which were both constructed by the Huguenots in the early 18th century, by going to the Gendarmenmarkt. The exquisitely restored Konzerthaus, where the Berlin Orchestra performs, is also located on the Gendarmenmarkt. The square's Christmas markets are a popular wintertime attraction. 1. Brandenburg Gate Berlin's only remaining city gate is the Brandenburg Gate, which was constructed in the late 1700s. The gate, which stands at the entrance to Unter den Linden, is located in Berlin's western section. The gate, which was once one of the Berlin Wall's crossing points, saw protests during Germany's split and celebrations after the wall collapsed in 1989. The gate got a thorough refurbishment in the early 2000s after suffering significant damage during World War II. It has been completely repaired today and serves as a symbol for both the reunification of East and West Berlin as well as the stormy history of the area. 